Hi, this is Debbie, and we're going to do a quick video here as an introduction to UpDocs. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome. There we go. So now we're in Chrome, and the first thing to know is that we have to do two separate logins. We have to do one login to practice Fusion and another login to UpDocs. So these are two separate companies, two separate programs, and you can think of it as San Diego and Tijuana. So San Diego is on one side of a bridge, Tijuana is on the other, and the connection between them is not direct is the best I can say about it. So I'm going to open up Practice Fusion first. So practicefusion.com. I'm going to log in. So now I have the connection established on one side of our bridge on Practice Fusion. Then I need to go establish the connection on the other side of the bridge, which is UpDocs. So I'm going to go to updocs.com. The first time you do this, you probably have to create your login. I've already created my login. So I'm going to click on the login button and it brings up the choice of online medical record systems and we choose Practice Fusion. So Practice Fusion is on the right side almost at the bottom. So I'm going to click on Practice Fusion and it brings up a screen indicating that we're going to sign in to UpDocs with Practice Fusion. I click on that my login email is there and I add my password. The password you use is your Practice Fusion password. So don't pick a different password than your Practice Fusion password if it asks you to sign up with UpDocs. Otherwise it's going to get all jammed up when you try to transfer documents. So I put in my Practice Fusion password and I click and I log in. Okay, so this is all in preparation. So notice I'm in UpDocs. It says you practice Fusion on the tab. That means it's the practice Fusion version of UpDocs. Down here on lower on the screen, it says UpDocs and in the gray column, the inbox is highlighted. So I'm currently in the inbox. So we have two screens open. We have the inbox of UpDocs and we have a practice fusion screen open. So in order to start a video chat with a patient, I go to charts and I find the patient I want. In this case, I've scheduled a Maggie Wood appointment and so I have the scheduled choice for the patient list so only Maggie's here. So I'm going to click on Maggie and open this up. Now on the summary page is the link to create the bridge to start the video visit in UpDocs that will communicate with Practice Fusion. Don't press it check some things first. What we want to do is go to the profile and check and make sure that the mobile phone is filled in and hopefully correct if you know what it is make sure it's correct or that the email if the patient has an email is filled in and correct because you can send the link to start the video chat to either the mobile phone of the patient or to the email address. So these look good. So I'm going to go back to summary and start 
the video chat. So I press the start video visit icon and a third screen opens up now and it says it's Debbie Clinging Smith's waiting room. So notice the name of this screen. It's different. So we have UpDocs video chat for this screen and then we have a second tab open over here and it just says UpDocs and it has the inbox. So you're going to be moving between those two screens so we're going to go back to the video chat because that's where we initiate the telemedicine appointment. So we have here a blue box with white letters and it has the name of the patient, McGee Wood. Above the name it has the email address, which is my Clarence House email address. Below the name of the patient it has the date of birth and age of the patient. And then below that, it has in very small letters, choose where to send invite. And you have two choices. You can send a text message or you can send an email message. There is a third choice. You can send, create a link, copy it and paste it into an email or some other message that you want to send. But the easiest way for the patient is in my opinion because about 95 percent of our patients have text messaging but they don't have emails is to select text and the phone number so I'm going to click on that so that's my selection and now an invitation has been sent as a text message to Kathy's cell phone and we're waiting for her to join if the text message does not go through to the cell phone, there may be a setting at the patient's cell phone carrier that needs to be changed. None of the invitations to an UpDocs chat were going to Kathy's cell phone, and we had to get T-Mobile to change the setting to enable that. So we're waiting for her to connect. Okay, we're reconnected. There are three buttons on the bottom. Capture, which will take a picture. Mute, and hide picture. I'm going to mute in order to avoid feedback over the internet. If I click on the hide button, notice my picture in the lower right disappeared. So if I click on it again, it, it reappears. So now, so we, now have we have Kath again. Hi. 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 <clears throat> Oops, I was Oops, muted. I Hi. Hi. Do you Hi. have a temperature? No, but it's hot outside. Have you been coughing? No. Okay, we're going to take your picture. Smile. Cheese. Okay, okay, I can click on the capture okay. icon. I have one picture. Now, now the patient has the option to use the back camera on his or her cell phone instead of the selfie, selfie camera. camera. So Kathy's going to switch. Okay, we're trying to switch. There we go, and we're going to take... Take a picture of our lampshade and mantle. So I go to the capture icon, press, and now we have two pictures. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you. So there's a red button. The red button here. I press it and I hang up. We go to the your chat has ended screen. This we are still in the UpDocs video chat area, and it's telling us our chat has ended. There is one step that is crucial here, and if you don't take that step, you will lose everything. So if I scroll down, so notice on the right I have a scroll bar. I scroll down, hidden way on the bottom, 
beneath the two pictures we took is a button that says send summary to inbox. If you don't press that button, you lose the two pictures and the summary. So I'm going to click on that and it is sending the summary. So that's sent. It's saved. Once you click that and send it to the inbox, it is now in the inbox of UpDocs and we can go there. So we had a tab that we had logged into previously. So we're going to flip over to the UpDocs Practice Fusion tab. So I'm going to press my button and flip into that particular display. So now I'm in a different tab inside of Chrome and it is still UpDocs. It identifies as UpDocs, but it has a gray bar with the inbox in it. So if I look, the time is now 7.54. These are all the video chats from everybody. So there is no video chat here with a timestamp of around 7.54. I'm sorry, 7.54. So in order to make that appear, you have to refresh the screen. So the refresh button is typically at the top. It's a circle with an arrow on one end. So I'm going to click on that to refresh my screen. It refreshes and now we have another video chat with a closer timestamp. So Friday, August 14th, 2020 and it is at, let me get rid of this, we're not ready for that yet, 7.53. So this is the one we want. There is a greater than sign here. I'm going to click on it and it's going to open up details of this chat. So I'm going to check boxes. Notice there's an icon here that says send item. Right now it's not going to send anything. It also has in here a magnifying glass. So this is a summary. I can hover over the summary and read the summary. So it tells us the chat, start date, the duration, who did it, and who the patient was. So I'm going to take my mouse off of that. And underneath the summary, there's a checkbox. So each page, each picture that you want to send into Practice Fusion, you need to make sure the box is checked beneath that particular item. So I'm checking that box, checking the box under Kathy's picture, checking the box under the lampshade picture. So notice it says now at the send icon, send three selected pages. Great. Oh, but I forgot to add a comment. So I'm going to click on the comment. I'm going to type in here updocs patient visit and then just put today's date again 8 14 20 with two pictures. Okay, so I've typed that. Is it saved yet as a comment? No. I need to press the comment icon and it will add it to the summary and save it. So now notice here under my name, it has our comment. Up talks patient visit August 14th, 20 with two pictures. But something else has happened. All of the check boxes that we had checked became unchecked. So beware, you need to make sure they're checked before you click on the send button. So if you add a comment, it unchecks everything. You have to recheck it. Notice this says send three selected pages. So we are ready to go. So I'm going to press that button, send three selected pages, and it's going to bring up another screen. So. In this screen, we select the patient name. All of our patient names were loaded into UpDocs once. Same thing for all of our medical providers. 
all of our medical providers were loaded into updocs once. Updocs does not automatically go into practice fusion and get the names of any new patients we add or the names of any new staff members we add. So just beware, if you don't get a patient name appearing, then you can't send it to practice fusion yet because we have to add that patient's name. So it does have Maggie because she was in the original loading of names. So we're going to click on Maggie's name and send it. Now it gives us a choice to either send an email to the email address in Maggie's chart, which happens to be my email, or to send to the EHR. And there's a checkbox on the right for you to make that choice. If you select email and press the OK button and press send, it will tell you that it is illegal, that it is against HIPAA regulations and will not send an email. So we won't ever be sending an email to a patient. We will, though, be sending to Practice Fusion. So I'm going to check the box that says send to EHR, and then I'm going to press the OK button. And then there is a send button down here. If you don't press the send, it won't go anywhere. You can send this, um, but you have to put a document name in it. You can send it without a provider name or a document type, but you have to have a name. This document name is what appears in the list of pending documents or signed documents in the patient's chart. So I want this to be very descriptive. This document does not end up in the encounters section of Practice Fusion. It is basically uploaded like we would other patient records. Uh, returns of medical records, uh, lab reports, letters from doctors, from patient assistance programs. They're all going to be mixed in. So you want to make sure you make this name descriptive. So I'm going to say encounter, because that's what it is, in updocs on today. So make sure this is descriptive and stands out as an encounter among the list of all the other documents that will be in Maggie's chart. I can here select a document type. We have one called Encounter in Updocs, so if I click in the search box and type EN, it'll bring that particular choice up. So Encounter from Updocs. The provider, I'll put myself. I'll again click in here. If I put D, it'll hop to the Ds. Choose myself. And if I click under the date, in the date box, it'll bring up a calendar, and I can choose today. And you can add more comments down here too, but otherwise we're ready to go. So the document information for essentially a document upload is filled in. It's going to Maggie's chart as designated on the right, and it's going into the EHR. So it's all ready. I'm going to click the Send button. So how can you tell it's sent? There's only one way. So the pictures and the summary are now stamped. Oh, the stamp doesn't show up in the magnifying glass. So notice there's a red stamp on each picture and on the summary, and it says Use. Once it's stamped used, you cannot send that particular item again. So it's used, we know it got sent. So now we're going to leave up docs. We're going to go back into Practice Fusion. So the document got sent from one side of the bridge from Practice Fusion across the bridge in, I'm sorry, one side of the bridge in up docs into Practice Fusion. And now we're back in Maggie's chart. And where do documents go? They go into Timeline. I'm 
going to click on the downward pointing arrow and get a drop down box. And I, this is not a signed document because only Kathy can sign documents, so we are going to click on Documents Pending. So here we are in Documents Pending. This is an encounter, so we did several of them to practice today. Notice, I don't know if this is the right one. A best practice is to go to the Refresh button in the upper left which again is a circle with the arrowhead, and click on it to make sure that any encounters show up on the screen. So no more encounters are added, so that's the one. I'm going to click on it, and it should show me what was in UpDocs. So this on the right is the encounter information we filled out in UpDocs that got sent with a document. On the left, we have a preview of the video chat summary. And then we have Kathy's picture, and then we have our lampshade. So the document is here. Notice, please, so I'm going to go back, I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to the timeline. Oops, I'm not in timeline. Go back to the timeline, hit the menu key, and go down to Encounters. Notice. Uh, and just for sanity check, I'm going to hit the refresh button in the upper left, refreshing. There are no encounters in here. So that means several things. One, we know that the encounter went into the documents area and not in, was not registered as a regular practice fusion encounter. What that means for us is that if you're a medical provider, and you're used to filling in the vital signs, if you're used to looking at the flow sheets to see when the last PAP or TSH or H. pylori or EKG was, you won't see that information in UpDocs. You also will not have available, as you would in a regular practice fusion encounter, any templates you have made. So again, it's, it's like visiting a foreign country. You go over to UpDocs on one side of the bridge and you visit and you collect your souvenirs. You, and in our case, the souvenirs are the pictures and the summary. You send them across the bridge to the United States and you're in San Diego and that's the practice fusion site what you have is a bunch of souvenirs in the form of a document and it is not a regular practice fusion encounter so in documents pending we have this here and if Maggie had lab tests or a patient assistance letter or medical records it would all be mixed together so you just have to know what you're looking for so that's it we will do another more extensive uh, UpDocs Practice Fusion video again showing what the patient sees. Thank you. Bye-bye.